Technology is progressing faster than ever with groundbreaking new ideas being explored daily, from floating farms to edge computing. With more and more tech and gadgets coming to the fore, it's become hard to identify which ones are redundant. In the vast sea of these modern-day technologies, there are some technologies that have the potential to change the world. And that's where we come in. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be presenting to you 20 emerging technologies that'll change the world. So sit down and relax. The most likely candidate for alternative fuel is hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen itself can be produced by a range of methods such as natural gas, nuclear power, biomass, and even other renewable energies, and when it's used, the only byproduct is water. In the UK, a concept train has already been fitted with hydrogen cells, and it's undergoing tests. A costly endeavor, but researchers have come up with a new solution, self-healing concrete, by adding bacterial spores to the concrete mix, along with a food source like yeast extract. An amazing thing happens. Edge computing the way we use computers has changed significantly in the past few decades, and so is the way technology is designed to give us the best service. Floating farms are a necessity as the world's population continues to grow. One of the biggest problems we face right now is how to produce enough food to satisfy everyone's needs. Amazingly, an estimated 30% of the global land surface is dedicated to agriculture and a third of that is used for crops, and the remaining two-thirds is used for grazing livestock. First, beginning in 1973 and completed in 1993, the American GPS satellite network was the first global navigation system and revolutionized the way that everyone determines where they are on Earth. At first, the benefits were envisioned for militaries, but the technology has now had an impact on all of our lives, from the way certain electronics work to sat-nav systems and location-based tracking. The industry is continually looking for new materials to offer stronger and more reliable performance, but the next game-changing development is expected to be graphene. It's a substance that's long been theorized to exist but has proven to be so complicated to manufacture that it's taken until now to become feasible, as the name would suggest it's derived from graphite, which is the material you'll be familiar with that's used in pencils made entirely from carbon atoms. You most certainly have seen deep fakes either on social media apps or in special effects in movies. However, it works as such how anyone can seamlessly stitch anyone in the world into a video or photo they never actually participated in. In movie making, such capabilities have existed for decades. That's how the late actor Paul Walker was resurrected for his part in Fast and Furious 7, a franchise he made famous while he was alive. Now, deepfake technologies can synthesize images and videos much more quickly. We literally have apps that do it instantaneously. And that's why a growing unease is settled around deepfake technologies that make it possible to create evidence of scenes that never happened. Tech companies around the world are in a race to develop the first full artificial intelligence. But there are steps along the way that arguably are going to be far more impactful on the technology around us and how we live our lives. There's been a lot of focus in recent years on private space companies and their quest to develop vehicles that can take paying customers into orbit, but the reality is that especially with the pollution that traditional spaceflight creates, these advances won't make a difference to people other than billionaires for quite some time. There is, however, a lesser-known company that's making huge strides at making space technology far cheaper, greener, and easier to access. It's just that their focus is on satellites and not on human travel, known as spin launch. Blockchain. There are two main reactions when people hear of blockchain. Either they start telling you about the best new cryptocurrencies to invest in, or they switch off from boredom. Here's a focus right now on moving away from energy that produces emissions, and one of the best ways to do this is converting everything we use to run on electricity as long as the electricity comes from green sources. Major strides have been made in the past couple decades. Recently, SpaceX has been creating a constellation of its own called Starlink, which will, when it's completed, provide internet access across most of the planet amazingly. This involves positioning as many as 12,000 in orbit to give optimal coverage. Connected homes. 
Throughout history, inventions have helped us save time on basic tasks, so we can dedicate ourselves to more complicated ones, and this progression is continuing into the 21st century. Fighting fire with sound with our changing climate, wildfires are becoming more common across the planet, and they're becoming even more difficult to control. Quantum computing, we all rely on classical computers for everyday tasks, but there's a point at which, no matter how many powerful chips you connect together, they become impractical to perform highly complicated roles. Fighting forest fires can be a huge challenge, and they're often in remote areas hard to reach or there's little to no access to water, so what do you do? Recently, two undergraduate engineering students created an acoustic fire extinguisher for their senior design project using sound waves to quell the flames. You've heard this word a lot lately, so in a nutshell, it means that if the contemporary internet experience is two-dimensional, meaning you browse and scroll through it on the screen, the metaverse is 3D. You'll be walking through it via connected headsets or glasses, and understanding the metaverse is complicated, especially because it doesn't entirely exist yet. A team of biologists and computer scientists created these novel, tiny, self-healing biological machines from frog sails named Xenobots. After the African clawed frog, the machines are less than 0.04 inches wide, small enough to travel inside human bodies. They can walk and swim and survive for weeks without food and work together in groups. The researchers scraped living stem cells from frog embryos and left them to incubate. Then the cells were cut and reshaped into specific body forms designed by a supercomputer. Better get used to the idea of rolling to work or on your next vacation via hypertrains because passengers are already experiencing this state-of-the-art travel experience in test runs. Supporters argue that Hyperloop could be cheaper and faster than train or car travel and cheaper and less polluting than air travel. They claim it's also quicker and cheaper to build than traditional high-speed rail. Hyperloop could therefore be used to take the pressure off gridlocked roads making travel between cities easier and potentially unlocking major economic benefits. This kind of biofuel is an alternative to liquid fossil fuels that use algae as its source of energy-rich oils. It also has an alternative to commonly known biofuel sources such as corn and sugarcane. Technology and infrastructure to create fuel from this sort of biomass have existed for at least 60 years, and now several companies and government agencies or funding efforts to reduce capital and operating costs and make algae fuel production commercially viable. Those were all the technologies on our list. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a fat thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. As always, take care and goodbye.